cellular, geolocalization, and short range wireless. Everyone wants all three antennas in their products. But no one really wants all three antennas crammed onto their board. They take up precious PCB space, they guzzle power, and the RF signals, they end up clashing. Ignite is making waves in ending these issues. Last week, Guy sat down with Lubna from Ignite to discuss Omnia, their game-changing three-in-one antenna solution. Before we dive into Omnia, let's check out Oxion, Ignion's AI-powered antenna integration platform. Let's go. Reintroduce us to the concept of Oxion and how that works today. Okay, so um, you might know about Ignion, about our company, about our technology. So um, for us, the simplicity is very important because at the end, the RF world is very complex. So we have work and we are still working on making all the RF uh, processes uh, easier and easier. So uh, Oxion um, came from the idea of simplicity on making easy the antenna integration. Oxion yep. is an AI-powered platform based on, as I said, um, artificial intelligence that uh, takes our knowledge um, and the artificial intelligence to deliver to the customer the best, um, uh, the best proof of concept uh, in terms of antenna integration. Okay, so what you're saying there is there's thousands and thousands of choices of antenna, but you've made it so you can just use one consistent sit-up way so you get the exact antenna that you actually need. Exactly. Uh, actually, the platform uh, takes the customer requirements, PCB size, frequencies the customer wants to cover, and um, everything gathered, the platform delivers a report with the recommended antenna and other RF recommendations. Excellent. Okay, so today we're going to talk about what you've got new, which you're calling Omnia, which is the actual solution. So uh, what I think what you're going to tell us about is a whole idea of a triple radio on one single chip. So tell us how that works and why you've done it that way. The way Omnia will change things here um, is through the simplicity. At the end, we are using a single antenna for three applications. So we, we are saving uh, not only the number of antennas, we are saving space. So for the IoT world, uh, for a PCB, the, the space is uh, very valuable. So um, we are like changing the game through the multi-radio antenna. Okay, so when you, you, when you talk about multi-radio antenna, obviously each of those antenna do a different job and you're saying you've got one thing that just does that job. So what would those three individual antennas be doing today in, a, in an IoT application? What would, be, what would be their job? Okay, I will put you an example. Uh, yep. Imagine um, you have a, a PCB with three applications, um, LTE, a, it's cellular, a GNSS, Yep. and a short range a wireless uh, communication like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Those are the three things that you would need antenna for, if that's what you needed to do. You need an individual one for cellular, you need an individual one for geolocation, and you need an individual one for short range wireless. Then you'd have all three things covered off. The problem with that is you've got three of them. And what you're saying is you don't need three of them. A 100% um, right. Omnia has the capability to combine the three the three antennas in a single one, and it it does that through uh well I will not tell you how <laughs> the no, antenna no, no, there's no, there's the no secrets. Need to break the secrets there's, there's, no. let's not break the secrets yeah but uh, I would say that the antenna has the perfect combination to deliver the highest performance possible. Um, and one of the key points here is how we control the coupling uh, through the three ports. Okay, so let's just come back. Let's just come back a little bit. We're, we're, we're replacing three bits of hardware. And what you're saying is that those individual three bits of hardware, they make their own individual noise, which is exactly. obviously getting in the way of one another. But also, let's just talk a little bit more about this coupling process. What does that actually mean? And how does taking down from three individual antenna down to one simple solution, how does that enhance and make the coupling process easier and better? Yeah, uh, like in an easy example, at the end, if you have three separate antenna in a, 
in a PCB, you have the three antennas fighting for delivering the yeah. the power to the air. Yeah. So um, the signals are interfering uh, one each other. So with a single antenna, you have just one antenna delivering um, that power to the air. And um, through the ports, you have three ports, one for cellular, another for Genesis and Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, whatever. Um, th this coupling is, has been controlled to uh, avoid this interference through any of the technologies. Yeah, so I understand that. So, so you've got rid of the, the whole concept of, if you like, antennas arguing with each other, uh, like a family argument. Uh, wouldn't I know about those? So um, <laughs> tell me about the complications for a design engineer with that, with, with that coupling. So in other words, just explain to me today the pain that that creates, and therefore we can all then understand the pain that you've taken away. Okay, for for the Ignion technology, actually, um, it's easier because uh, our technology combines an antenna chip component uh, matching on the ground plane. So we can control the antenna radiation through the matching network so, and also the, the antenna signal, but we control the coupling. So for Omnia, it's kind of the same. Uh, Omnia is also a non-resonant antenna. So um, the methodology at the end is quite the same, but here we have a, also to deal with the coupling between the ports. So um, the antenna includes, includes an isolation between uh, the three ports I mentioned. Right, okay. So just in summary now, you would be using three antenna, get rid of them, once one. You would then, even if you had three, You'd have them all arguing with each other, and I'm assuming using up all their own individual power. So you're taking that down for the design engineer. You've taken away having to choose three, how to integrate three, but then also not having to go through the pain and stress of the coupling process. So that's two absolute benefits. So now let's just move on now and talk about the performance and how that would compare to three individual solutions, but just getting that from one. So let's just talk us through. So. Would you be confident, in, for instance, in saying that Omnia is throwaway phrase, but best in class? So, um, as I mentioned, we are decreasing the coupling, so we are maximizing the antenna performance, and we can see it reflected in um, easy process to surpass any kind of certifications. Here, when it comes to a, a antenna efficiency, every point counts because um, every point means higher decibel in uh, certifications. Now, let's talk about how this actually works in action how if you start putting this into into your application how does it actually work for you tell us about what 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 the benefits are now well i, I would tell you a lot of reasons but the main one i would say um to simplify the design when you are integrating one antenna instead of three you are simplifying the routing and the end then the antenna it's connected to an rf model so there is a routing through the through the PCB, so we are simplifying the design. Uh, we are saving space. We are using less uh, below of material uh, components for the matching, and with everything, we are uh, getting a very good performance. So it's a win-win. Okay, good, good. So if we're if if we're talking about lowering bill of material, we're going to be start we're going to start talking about sustainability, aren't we? Which is such an important issue in 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 today's world. Just tell us quickly how uh, how this will help a design engineer with their sustainability goals with with their products. Well, actually, just the fact of um, using just a line of manufacturing instead of three, that would be the case yep. of. A manufacturing three antenna, we are reducing the CO, CO2 footprint. And um, of course, we are um, simplifying, reducing the energy to create yeah. an RF element. So we are decreasing the volume of the bill of material needed to tune the antenna. Um, we are making a very sustainable solution. Right, right. Is it is it just a fact that because you're not using three antenna and you're only using one, it will just use less power. Is that just a fact? That's just it's already, already, that will just be a fact. Just by just making that one decision, you will becoming a more power efficient solution. 
it's not a fact actually um at the end uh, the power is um the, the antenna are passive components so but they are uh, linked directly to the uh, power consumption at the end if you have a good performance um you are making the transmission more efficient i mean the rf model needs let's say less effort to transmit so uh here the battery life is m m uh, more efficient here right. the key point is the battery life at the end all the wireless uh, solution all the wireless projects ha include a battery so we need to make this battery the most efficient possible and um, through a good antenna performance we can save a lot a lot of the battery life right okay 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 good um so uh with all these kind of technologies design engineers have to be assured that uh, that, that that somebody's gone first <laughs> so are you able to tell us today about uh, a partner of yours that's already already implemented this technology has already taken what what you've been doing with omnia and has already using it today in in a place and is benefiting from this three-in-one solution low power lower footprint more sustainable model uh can you explain to somebody today who is already using it or can you give me an example of somebody who's already using it to, to rest assured to all design engineers that this is a good idea uh, actually, we are working on our first use case with Nova Things, that is our partner. So we are develop we have developed with with them a smart data lock uh, that includes the Omnia solution with the triple radio. So right. it's a device that it's meant to be used in an in an agricultural environment. Uh, so we need to ensure that in this environment we have a good coverage without wasting enough battery at the end you know yeah. uh, this type of environment so we we are still making tests but the feedback we have is that we are um, targeting good performance and we are covering right. um uh, uh, we are covering a good range right so in their case they absolutely bought into the whole idea of going from three to one but in their case because i take it their data logger are out in the field lots of them power was an absolute game changer for them because every time they have to change a battery that's a cost what would be the absolute ideal applications in terms of industry that you think omnia will just fit perfectly and change the world off i would say that instead of applications uh, i would integrate omnia in those uh, projects where the rf integration is complex so I would just simplify all the applications in one antenna, single antenna, single clearance. And um, of course, if you have uh, enough space on your PCB, you will easily integrate and um, make, make it uh, work. Excellent. So uh, in tip typical IoT environments, we're looking at things like smart metering, industrial IoT, automotive telematics. Uh, asset tracking and logistics, the kind of thing that we're talking about every day and everybody's trying to get that 80 zettabytes of data from to somewhere else. <laughs>